Hi, my name is Duncan McCallum and I'm here today to take you through the basics of buying a rock climbing shoe. As we're coming out of a long winter and a lockdown spring into summer, many of us skiers are now looking to change sport and rock climbing is one of my principal loves. So here's a basic rundown of what you should be looking for. 50 years ago, there was only one type of climbing shoe. Now the range is huge and they're split into the different specific types of climbing you might be looking for. So we've got introductory shoes, a general all-round shoe, bouldering shoe and a sport shoe and each of those types of shoes has a different specific characteristic that you might want to look for. So starting with the basics. So a basic introductory shoe has a flat last traditionally and is relatively easy to wear. There's not, it's not too complicated and the thing you should be looking for principally is, is comfort. A modern beginner's shoe, more like this, is designed principally to use in an indoor wall. It's much more of a technical looking shoe, but it's extremely soft and allows you to get lots of sticky stuff on, on an indoor hold. An all-round shoe, something like this, would tend to have a lace and a slightly harder rubber that you're going to be able to use on long pitches and give you very good all-round general characteristics. However, this one is a performance shoe and will work on really hard routes. Now we come to two much more specific types of shoe, a bouldering shoe, and the both of these are bouldering shoes. You can see they have a slight downturn in the sole. That means that the toes are being forced into the front of the shoe. But the principle of a bouldering shoe is generally it's going to have a piece of rubber on the front so you can use both the heels and the toes to hook and to pull on and they tend to be quite soft. They tend to have softness across across the way and then down into the toe. But the principle of a bouldering shoe is a very tight fit with a sticky rubber that allows you to smear and push really hard. And then finally a sport shoe and this sport shoe in particular is really downturned. That means it's driving the front of the foot into the toe and allows you to stand on the smallest edges you possibly can. You can see also in the women's version of the Sportiva shoe here, it's very stiff and it allows you to stand on those little edges. So each one of these has a different shape and a different last. So they're all built for slightly different foot shapes as well. So when you're looking for a shoe, be aware that some will fit asymmetrically, which means that your foot shape is going to be like this and the toe is pointed to the inside of the foot or a symmetrical shoe which is much more like that with the toe box facing forward. Modern shoes tend also to have a rubber strap that drives the foot forward. This can be quite uncomfortable to start with but the main thing is you'll need to size down for a performance fit. But for an introductory shoe go for your same, same shoe size. Don't get too fussed about foot shape generally to start with. Go for comfort when you're beginning. But when you start looking at performance shoes like this, comfort goes out of the window and you're really looking for a fit that drives the foot forward and allows you to use the holes in the wall to the best ability. Good luck in uh, finding the right shoe for you. There's written descriptions of all of these shoes in our review section on the website.